It's got the, the large S, and it's got the stillness at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yes. And they haven't got the pop, they haven't anything pump, pumps. No. Which is great. Yes. You must be pleased with that. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's because it it's... Okay. Yeah, you know, we'll just... Yeah. Do you want that to be on the pickup or the downbeat? No, on the downbeat. James Galway is recorded with us. <laughs> He's done whistles for the Shire. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. And flute solos. I had the idea to use a pan flute for this character, you know, for the Faramir. It's sort of Middle Earth sound because it's so basic. The pan flute is one of the oldest instruments in the world. I have a room at the Dorchester that's just for listening. It has a beautiful speaker system in it. It's like an Abbey Road uh, monitoring system. I'll play you uh, uh, bar 45 to 52 first. And sometimes I've, I've done as many as four sessions a day from the suite into the Rochester, and they just patch me around. There's something really beautiful about that, too. It's very mournful. It's a fantastic oh, pleasure for me to be a little part of your oh, fantastic you. music. Renee Fleming is singing solo pieces. You could write on the CD, don't try this at home. The Renee Fleming session last week was in New York, and that was done by the video conference. Hi, how are you? Hi, are you? <laughs> Wild. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, we're in London. It's about 1, 1 a.m. Yes. I want to double check with you where I'm going to breathe and make sure it's not in the middle of a word. Doing the whole first phrase in one breath. Okay. Does that, does that work? Yes, of course. And the first piece, um, Howard, can I breathe in bar 53? The question I couldn't remember in 177 if that was Thadine or Thadine. I just don't want you to judge me on this. You know, my German's better. <laughs> yeah, this is Cinderin. It's at Elvish. Yeah. Well, I'm going to add that you know, to my list of languages. Renee Flanagan, she's going to sing this in New York on Friday. The destruction of the Ring.
How does it feel to sing? Beautiful. It sits very nicely in the voice. Well, one of the, your gifts is that you play against expectation because in these cataclysmic moments, you have something very pure yeah. and very quiet, which is so beautiful. We do, we do that, yes. Yes, Peter is so key in knowing how to do yeah. that. Well, that's what the yeah. best composers do, I think. And you hear Ben Del Maestro singing. He's a boy soprano, and uh -huh. then you just hear him singing over like you see like a thousand armies of a thousand, but you just right. hear the one voice. Right. things. That's got to be near the end of the movie, right? With a title like that, The End of All Things, it's got to be close. It's an Elvis. It's an Elvis. The choir, the chorus. That's it. See, then you cut to the chorus singing. The voters thought that I wrote the greatest movie score, but I only wrote the greatest movie score because I was writing it to a movie that was the greatest movie. <laughs> yeah. 